The movie opens with a cute little piglet playing joyfully in a thicket of tall weeds. It spots a beautiful flower dancing in the wind and decides to chase after it. But its pursuit comes to an abrupt halt when it crashes into a rolling log. Behind the log, three mischievous friends, Bramble, Briar, and Vic, are hiding. Bramble accidentally sucks up the flower that the piglet was after, leaving the poor piglet in tears. Suddenly, a group of pig soldiers arrives on the scene. They start chasing after Vic and the others. The friends run as fast as they can, only to realize that they have somehow ended up in prehistoric times. In an earlier time, Vic was leading a group of tourists to a cave, accompanied by Bramble and Briar. Vic explained the ancient drawings on the cave walls, which were over 30,000 years old. To everyone's surprise, there was a picture of a bicycle among the ancient images, causing confusion among the tourists. They couldn't understand why there was a depiction of a modern object like a bicycle alongside ancient artwork. Perplexed, the tourists decided to leave Vic behind. Later, Vic discovered that she was the one who had drawn the modern images on the walls. She asked Briar to clean the cave walls while Bramble had to remain silent and bored. Out of nowhere, a radiant blue butterfly fluttered right before Bramble. Without a second thought, he began chasing after it, but the butterfly flew straight through a wall, vanishing into thin air. Along with its disappearance, Vic's tools and the picture on the wall vanished as well. When the trio exited the cave, they were greeted by a barren landscape of mere rocks. However, Vic's disappointment turned into sheer delight when he stumbled upon rubies scattered everywhere. He couldn't help but imagine a life of wealth and luxury, but his dreams were shattered when Bramble and Briar ushered him back home. Unfortunately, the ruby they unknowingly stepped on turned out to be a gigantic tortoise. Before they knew it, they were swiftly carried away and flung onto a log amidst a herd of rhinos. Faced with imminent danger, Vic and the others opted to make a daring escape, inadvertently crashing into a piglet. Their frantic attempt to elude the pig army led them to a towering tree, where the pigs hesitated to approach due to its mysterious inhabitants. Seizing the moment, the pigs retreated. However, Vic and his companions found themselves facing a new challenge, the formidable presence of a colossal bird dwelling in the tree. In the midst of chaos, the giant bird went wild, causing Briar to tumble into a deep ravine, leaving Bramble and Vic together. Briar regained consciousness to find himself in a bamboo forest, where he sensed someone lurking among the trees. Before he knew it, a small wolf named Fei Fei pounced on him. Fei Fei sought Briar's alliance, aiming to join forces in their quest for the courageous fruit located atop a grand tree. However, Briar was indifferent to Fei Fei's proposal as he was determined to find his brother. Undeterred, Fei Fei persisted, tailing Briar wherever he went. Eventually, Briar's patience wore thin, and he simply walked away. Meanwhile, Bramble and Vic found themselves captured by a tribe of ancient humans, who intended to end their lives. Suddenly, a caterpillar dropped from above, sparking panic among the ancient humans. In the midst of their confusion, they turned on one another, collapsing unconscious. Bramble and Vic couldn't help but burst into laughter, but their amusement ceased when they caught sight of the leader, Lin. Without hesitation, Lin launched an attack on Vic and Bramble. Simultaneously, Briar was desperately searching for an exit from the forest when he stumbled upon a slumbering giant panda. Just then, Fei Fei appeared and pointed out the way to escape. However, Briar mistakenly started walking backward instead. To his surprise, a group of mischievous mini pandas confronted him, teasing and mocking him relentlessly. Overwhelmed by their antics, Briar eventually gave in, realizing he couldn't overcome the swarm of mini pandas alone. Thankfully, Fei Fei offered her assistance on one condition. Briar had to agree to her plan of obtaining the fruit of courage. Reluctantly, Briar agreed. Together, Briar and Fei Fei arrived at the presence of the colossal panda. Fei Fei triggered a sneeze from the panda, which miraculously produced super bamboo, the favorite food of the mini pandas. While the mini pandas indulged in their feast, Briar and Fei Fei seized the opportunity to escape. Meanwhile, Lin and the others returned to their village, taking Bramble and Vic with them. Bramble and Vic witnessed ancient humans fighting over meat. With the scarcity of food among the early humans, Bramble and Vic contemplated cooking for them. However, their plan was thwarted when a herd of bulls went on a rampage and stormed into the settlement. In a surprising turn of events, Lin managed to overpower another bull, but he was unable to defeat the leader. Unfortunately, Lin lost the fight and accidentally struck Vic. Helpless and vulnerable, Vic was left behind as Bramble fled. The bull prepared to charge at Vic, but he managed to temporarily ward off the attack using the flash from his cell phone. However, this only served to infuriate the bull further. Meanwhile, Bramble regained his senses and realized he couldn't leave Vic behind. He hurriedly returned to the village to rescue him. 
Remarkably, Bramble and Vic joined forces and triumphed over the charging bull. Astonishingly, the eldest of the ancient humans believed Bramble and Vic to be saviors, as they had captured the spirit of the bull on their cell phones. As a result, the early humans revered Bramble and Vic, considering them protectors and bestowing their worship upon them. Meanwhile, Fei Fei and Briar ventured through the wilderness towards a massive tree. Along the way, Briar encountered an adorable rabbit that turned out to be surprisingly dangerous. Misfortune seemed to follow Briar in the forest, one mishap after another. Eventually, Fei Fei and Briar decided to take a rest at this spot. Suddenly, a weary squirrel approached them, having just been attacked by three wolf cubs. The wolf cubs began to torment Fei Fei, mocking her for never having tasted game meat before. They challenged her to eat the squirrel, which Fei Fei vehemently refused. As the situation escalated, Briar arrived just in time, scaring the wolf cubs away. In the evening, Briar and Fei Fei sat down for dinner together. During their meal, Fei Fei opened up about being a timid wolf. She expressed remorse for consuming her prey, which made her feel cowardly. Fei Fei shared her longing for the fruit of courage, which, when consumed, would grant super bravery akin to the legendary Dama bird that dwelled within the fruit. The Dama bird was renowned as the mightiest and most feared creature, as it was the only one who consumed the fruit. In short, the next morning, Briar and Fei Fei resumed their journey, embarking on new adventures ahead. After a moment of rest, a piercing scream echoed in the distance, coming from a little girl named Stone. She was surrounded by wolves, but luckily Briar arrived just in time, shielding Stone from harm. Fei Fei, although afraid of the wolf leader named King, still played a part in keeping him at bay, even risking injury. Fortunately, Lin appeared with his flock, chasing the wolves away. To Briar's delight, Bramble and Vic were also among them. However, Fei Fei was injured and almost killed by Lin. Stone pleaded for Fei Fei's life, and they took her to the village for treatment. Meanwhile, Bramble and Vic took Briar on a tour of the village, where Vic introduced the ancient humans to futuristic tools, like a hot pot and party music. The atmosphere was filled with joy, but it abruptly came to an end when Vic's cell phone ran out of battery. The ancient humans felt disheartened, and Briar and Vic felt a deep longing for their family and friends in the future. Witnessing their sadness, Briar made the decision to bring them back home. Meanwhile, the piglet from the beginning nursed a deep desire for revenge against Bramble, laughing mischievously at the thought. Surprisingly, Bramble unknowingly passed by the piglet. Seizing the opportunity, the piglet started following Bramble, plotting revenge at every chance. Unfortunately, luck was never on the piglet's side, and each attempt ended in failure. As night fell, Vic and the others drifted off to sleep, while Fei Fei listened intently to the distant roar of King. King was aware that Fei Fei's allegiance leaned towards the bears and humans, rather than the wolves. This human had disrupted King's plan to maintain control over the forest. Therefore, King commanded Fei Fei to lead them to the valley the following day. As expected, one of the wolves spotted Vic's group approaching and swiftly informed King. The wolves prepared themselves for an attack, waiting for the opportune moment. However, Vic and the others appeared in a different valley, infuriating King. Fei Fei had betrayed him, much to King's anger. To their surprise, Fei Fei discovered a hidden passage leading to a massive tree, where Bramble and Vic caught the attention of the fearsome Dama bird. Meanwhile, Briar and Fei Fei climbed a towering tree in hopes of finding the coveted fruit of courage. However, all they discovered were Dama bird eggs, with no sign of the fruit they sought. This dashed Fei Fei's hopes, as she needed the fruit of bravery to prove to her older brother, Hunter, that she could be courageous. She wanted to show Hunter that she had learned from her past mistake of letting her prey escape. Suddenly, an avalanche threatened to bury Fei Fei, but Hunter arrived just in time to save her, sacrificing himself in the process. Now, Fei Fei was lost and unsure of what to do, especially regarding how to be brave. In that moment, Briar shared his own personal story of being abandoned by their mother when they were young. Despite the pain, Briar had to put on a facade of strength and bravery to protect his sister. It mirrored Hunter's act of protecting Fei Fei. Just then, the volcano erupted, causing all the animals to flee in a chaotic frenzy. Meanwhile, Vic and the others needed to return to their original entrance cave to go back to their own world, which meant Fei Fei and Briar would be separated from them. Just before their departure, Fei Fei heard the menacing roar of King, who called upon his pack to chase after Vic and the group. As expected, they found themselves surrounded by King and his followers. Fei Fei arrived, desperately pleading with King to release Vic and their friends, but King remained indifferent. He intended to eliminate them all. Fortunately, at the crucial moment, Stone arrived with reinforcements, triggering a fierce battle between humans and wolves. As a result, humans, wolves, and bears had to flee due to the eruption of the mountain and raining lava stones. Sadly, a single rock strike caused a massive crack, separating Vic's group from Lin's group. 
Nevertheless, Vic came up with the idea of cutting down trees to create makeshift bridges. However, King returned to attack them once more. It was Briar who bravely shielded them and pushed back the wolves, allowing Bramble and Vic to cut down the tree undisturbed. Simultaneously, Fei Fei alerted one of the wolves about the presence of another wolf on the opposite side. Meanwhile, Bramble was just a few steps away from successfully bringing down the tree. However, the mountain became active once again, and the hailstones formed a bridge for King to reach Fei Fei. King successfully intervened, thwarting Vic and Bramble's efforts. Despite his own group's warning that Fei Fei and the others had moved to the other side, King disregarded it and chose to corner Fei Fei at the edge of an abyss. King belittled Fei Fei, labeling her a useless, cowardly little wolf. In that moment, Briar uplifted Fei Fei, declaring that she was the bravest of friends. This realization struck Fei Fei, making her understand that she was different from the other wolves. Nevertheless, she was determined to protect her friends. Fei Fei made the ultimate sacrifice, willingly plunging into the abyss along with King. Witnessing this act of bravery, Briar shed tears of gratitude, thanking Fei Fei for ensuring their safety. Fortunately, Fei Fei managed to survive by clinging onto roots within the abyss. In the final moments of the film, as Vic and the others bid their farewells, a piglet appears, unable to exact revenge on Bramble, and simply walks away. In contrast, a radiant blue butterfly arrives, serving as a sign that Vic and the others must return home, leaving Fei Fei behind as she decides to stay with the ancient humans. This decision is later validated in the future when Vic and the group revisit the cave, where Briar notices a picture of Fei Fei on the wall. The moral of the story is revenge is a dish best left for piglets who are really good at plotting it. Sometimes, it's better to let go of grudges and focus on butterflies, because they might be guiding you home to ancient humans who have really nice caves and cool pictures on the walls.